hey guys happy wednesday i've got my coffee it's actually nearly midday and um i've been working for the last couple of hours on some emails and admin and um yeah lots of like little things that my brain has just been like oh i need to do that oh i need to get that done um but i'm having my second coffee of the day which is unreal i've also made myself some lunch which um probably from this angle does not look good but it's delicious i've gone for avocado and eggs on like scrambled eggs on a bagel with sriracha and also za'atar because i love that stuff so much if you know you know um but yeah today is a like cozy comfy day with um yeah my laptop admin um, and just getting stuff done so i thought i would just update you because i've got food and i've got a coffee and i'm feeling really really positive and just honestly yesterday was the best vibes ever um i just feel like so so much better for going and like enjoying london and actually having like a day where i'm not rushing around to be anywhere i've got nowhere to be but just enjoy the city because I, I never really get to do that like of course I get to do all these fun little things um but I'm never like in London just for the vibes do you know what I mean so um there's always something to be doing so it was just really nice to be with Kat yesterday and we honestly had the best day um trying to keep my vibes high and um yeah I just feel like it really refocused me on my goals in life and things that I want to do and um yeah I just I feel very high vibrational from it so this is your sign to just go out and treat yourself to a little like even if it's just a window shopping day like i actually didn't spend any money other than um to kind of buy food and drink so yeah treat yourself and you don't have to spend money you could just window shop look around try things on and honestly it was the best best day but yeah today is a work day from home i'm gonna try and do i've been listening to a few podcasts today and a couple of them have mentioned hot girl walk po hot girl walk sorry not hot girl walk podcast um i have been listening to podcasts um but yeah they've basically been talking about how you should just like get out get some fresh air and i hit the gym but like that's indoors as well so i really do want to get myself on like a f you know 20 minute walk around my village and sort of head back uh, just to break up my day so I think I'll do that in a couple of hours time please hold me to that because I'm really bad at saying I'm going to do something like that and not doing it whereas in lockdown I used to do a hot girl walk every single day like without fail and I was saying to my friend Kat yesterday I used to get up and do 5k's at 5am in lockdown like every single day i would do a 5k at 5 a.m come home do breakfast and like be working and i know it was like okay there was nothing else to really do but my god like mental so i want to get myself in like that really good positive headspace i'm also really focusing on actually working on my sleep schedule because i have been having like serious insomnia until about 2 a.m and then finally falling asleep but it's making me wake up really drowsy or if i'm waking up early i haven't had enough sleep so um my plan is to have a slow day past like the evening time come home not eat too late not take pre-workout before the gym because that's another thing that i've been doing which i probably shouldn't be doing you know at 5 p.m in the evening taking pre-workout to hit the gym alice like no wonder you're not sleeping um so yeah i'm just trying to like be more mindful of what i'm doing right before bed i've noticed i sleep so much better when i read a book so i've got like a book that i've been trying to finish for literally so long um but i'm halfway through now so um i'm gonna be doing that i'll show you that later on i think um but yeah just thought i'd update you let you know what's happening today today is like a work from home day um but yeah feeling super high vibe got some exciting things coming which i can't wait to tell you um and then yeah i just oh i just can't wait to see what the rest of this week brings lots of good things coming so i'm very excited but stay tuned hopefully the next clip you see i'm on a hot girl walk and yeah well let's have a good day guys okay guys so cut ahead to a few hours um can't find my tripod so you're currently resting on a wedgwood mug which we'll just have to do i've also got water on my top because i've just washed my face 
like cleanse my skin again just refresh because i'm gonna go on a hot girl walk but just before i decided to yeah get my stuff together get out the door just for some fresh air i um actually had a delivery from the post lady and firstly i want to show you fabric magazine because this is what it looks like this is our latest cover and we've got all sorts in here from like luxury property to travel which i'll try and find the travel section bear with me where is the travel section i literally just saw it earlier to the travel section which looks amazing Ooh, blue deer. that's interesting um i love this magazine and it's so great to be a part of it i just wanted to show you it because um it comes through the door and it's basically for londoners but i guess it sent to me because i am um obviously within the team but just to kind of put this out there in case anybody is london based and um you know might be interested i also received a parcel and i have no idea what this is um but i thought it would show you ah i do know what this is this is a parcel from whale of a time guys i'm so excited to show you this let me just pick you guys up and turn you around so so i've got this parcel from whale of a time i'm actually working with them on a collab so hopefully by the time you have seen this the ad should be live but you guys know how obsessed i am with whales in general but oh oh my gosh i love it i've got a jumper here which is so cute it's got the red and the white and the blue and then i've also got a half zip up top so what i think i'm gonna do because it's a size medium and i know um my twin brother luke literally loves this brand so much i'm gonna keep the half zip up one for um going to the gym and like running errands but i know he's gonna love this jumper so i'm gonna give that to him but obviously i'm gonna shoot the ads first i just thought i would quickly like yeah just kind of update you on my day how my day's going been planning lots and um lots of emails coming in so that's exciting but i think what i'm what i need to do really is just get like a clear head because i told myself i'd go for a walk so i'm just going to literally do a lap around my village and hopefully that will be enough to kind of like give me some fresh air motivate me revive me and then i can come back center myself i'm at that point now where i've got like so much to do i don't really know where to start and i've got quite a big article deadline i've got loads of article deadlines guys but a very very big one for friday plus my work for fabric so i really want to get on top of that because we're actually launching a um i can talk about this i think i'm pretty sure i can and i think it's important that you guys know about it because i'd absolutely love it if you can go and follow the page but for fabric magazine we're lo we're launching a property instagram account which will be totally focused on luxury properties within the london area i think there might be like the odd occasion where we post other properties and different destinations like you know um oh, i'm trying to think like like second home holiday vibes like that type of thing as well but for the most part it's going to be a lot of london properties so if you are in the market for that if you're watching this vlog and you're thinking alice that sounds like a bit of me or you're someone who loves to manifest and also loves to kind of just see what's out there like me that is something that i love to do and in working on this project i have been able to see so many incredible houses and properties i'm like oh my god this is what's out there it's amazing so i would absolutely love it i'm going to pop the instagram on screen both for fabric the magazine so i'll do that now and then i'll also pop on screen the fabric property reels account which is going to be so cool um it's going to show you like tours around properties and just give you like an exclusive access into what's available and what's for sale so i would love it if you go and check it out make sure you give them a follow that would be amazing but yeah that's what i've been sort of working on but kind of just like building the project behind the scenes and hopefully that will be launched very soon if not by the time this vlog comes out i'm hoping it's already launched but we shall see um depending on like the lead times for things but that's what i've been working on today i'm also 
in the background as well working on my podcast for series three because in my mind i want it to be an up level you guys know with series one and series two there was a bit of a rebrand there was a restructure and it just had a new vibe i also launched the instagram account at the time so yeah series three i'm i'm really 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 promising I'm saying it, I'm promising the vibes, I'm promising an up level, so expect that, be excited because that is going to be amazing and that is my baby. Um, if you don't know the podcast and you haven't tuned in, please check it out, I'd absolutely love it if you could. Everything will be in the description box. I'll also pop a link to the YouTube channel which that is where I upload my podcast episodes to YouTube because I know some people like to consume it that way but at the moment it's just audio only on there so it's just more to kind of like use it and enjoy it from that platform um but yeah I'd love to know actually let me know in the comments what platform is your favorite to listen to a podcast are you a Spotify podcast person Apple podcasts do you listen on Audible Amazon Music do you like to look do you like to watch your um podcasts like there are some podcasts i love to watch so yeah i'd love to know what kind of constitutes your choice that would be amazing but yeah i'm gonna leave now head on my hot girl walk pop out for half an hour and then that should refresh me i'm gonna take you guys along of course anyway um if i can vlog if i have the if i have the um courage to take my vlog camera out and show you my walk i will um but yeah let's go on a walk let's get those good vibes going and yeah Let's have a really lovely rest of our day. So I'm back from my hot girl walk. It ended up being really, really busy outside. So I didn't end up vlogging, but I did manage to listen to a podcast and a half. I'm currently halfway through another episode. So I feel like it was really good. I also managed to do some emails whilst I was walking and I was just sort of like thinking of things to um, message to certain people, sent some voice notes. Like I feel like it was a really productive hot girl walk. I'm back now. I've made myself a snack, which is this huge, look at that mountain of cereal. I love cereal. Like that is one thing that I'm actually obsessed with. It's cereal. Um, so I've got a massive bowl and um, it's basically just fruit and fiber from Lidl. It's like their version of, and it's so delicious with like the raisins and the coconut and the banana. And I'm having that with a cup of tea and also finishing off an uh, apple half, which I had half last night and I just didn't really need to eat the whole apple. So I'm gonna finish that off so that doesn't go to waste. But yeah, feeling good, feeling like I have got some energy again, ready to kind of tackle the last little slog of the day and just try and get some bits done. Like I kind of just feel like I'm starting and stopping tasks, but I'm determined to complete some things I'm just, I'm in creative mode right now. Like my brain is just thinking of so many ideas and yeah, I've got lots of things in the pipeline. So um, yeah, it takes a lot out of you, I think. I think that's why my head is like all over the place. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on now, eat my um, cereal and have my tea and then yeah, call it a day. I was gonna gym, but I'm kind of feeling like I can't be bothered to do that. So because I've gone on a walk now, I kind of feel like I've done something. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I, I probably won't gym and I'll probably just gym tomorrow morning. But yeah, just thought I'd update you and let you know. Good morning, guys. I feel like this is Groundhog Day and I feel like I always show up looking like a little rat. Welcome. <laughs> it's literally nearly 1pm and I feel like my brain is totally frazzled. I've just spent, well, I woke up late. Let's just say that. I woke up late again. It's really starting to bother me, but tonight is the night that I get an early night and I actually just stop overthinking, I get shit done and I work on what I need to work on because my God, do I have so much stuff to do. I actually feel like I'm not even gonna work out tonight or go to the gym. I'm just in gym gear for the aesthetic at this point. Um, but this morning I've spent doing emails, going through all the fabric property stuff, which is just like mega, like so much is going on. And um, also as well, like I'll be the first to admit, it's okay to not know the answer to everything when you're starting a new job. And when you're kind of like still getting yourself in the frame of mind of a certain thing. And with the work that I do, I have to keep reminding myself, Alice, you put this hat on and it's like your brain is trying to tell you like, right, get on with the work. but 
when you do something else and you, you're kind of flitting between different types of work, it's really easy to get like really overwhelmed and kind of forget what you're doing. And I find this a lot with like the the different roles that I play in my workload and um, sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I need to do this thing and it's not in line with the kind of stuff that I'm focusing on in the moment. So I end up like really, really overwhelming myself. But I've decided that I need to start time blocking my day because and also like breaking my week up much more like distinctively so that I'm not spreading myself thin, jumping in and out and flitting between tasks because that is not going to be productive for me as much as I am a manifesting generator and um, I'm kind of convinced guys, like, I don't want to like self-diagnose, I, I definitely think I have ADHD like and I don't, I don't want this to come from like an offensive place or to try and be like oh I, it's it's like me saying I've got OCD because I, I know I haven't got OCD um but I feel like when I focus on certain tasks I come across like hurdles that a typical person with ADHD would kind of come across and it's got to the point now where it's like when I do um look into it and I look into kind of how to resolve ADHD tendencies when I do those things and I action tasks in that way I'm much more productive so I think in doing that and kind of maybe looking into like I don't even know what I'm saying right now basically what I'm trying to tell you is I will put like ADHD focus music on I will block tasks better and I'm trying to kind of work out what my workload is like um, I also need to get better guys at delegating I'm so bad at that I'm so bad I feel like I can do it all and I say yes to everything and it's just not possible. You can't be it all at once. You can't do it all well and be doing everything. Like it's just not feasible. So thinking about how I'm going to outsource is like, girl, you've just got to do it. You've got to make the decisions to outsource. Um, but today I thought I would just quickly before um, sort of in my gap. So I've just done about two or three hours worth of like, work for this fabric property account um and now i'm gonna take like a half an hour break i'm gonna show you my um new in bits that i've got and also um work out what i'm doing because tomorrow i need to pack for a mini shoot day for an ad that i'm doing and also an event tomorrow which i know you guys are going to absolutely love and yes tomorrow i will be in gym gear as well surprise surprise but that will be for a pilates event which i'm so excited for it's west sussex based so all my west sussex girlies and guys this one is for you i'm so happy it's a local event like this is honestly giving me the endorphin rush that i've been so desperately needing pilates i absolutely love so i know this is going to be such a nice event for a friday um and then my lovely friend charlotte i'm so excited to see her we are going to be doing the event together and then shooting some ads i've got some ads coming up with um i think i showed you actually briefly yesterday well over time so i've got um two jumpers to shoot i've also got an ad going live today and i've got to shoot some more stuff for bershka which is so exciting another brand that i absolutely love so i just need to kind of like work out what i'm wearing and also i've had a katie loxton delivery um i actually had it a while back but i've had no time to like actually show and unbox because it's such a pretty like bag and stuff so i will show you that and um we can kind of get on with the day i'm really sorry that i literally every time i vlog i look the same and it's just me with my jeffrey dart my glasses oh the chaos um but yeah it's nice working from home but also it's like everything just merges into one and i feel like i always look the same unless i'm going out i always look the same so let's show you what i've got new in from katie loxton and we will go from there okay guys so we have the deliveries right here i've just taken a couple of pictures and a little video clip and i just love how everything is personalized so when you actually buy a gift from katie loxton or even purchase for yourself you can actually get these little labels made which is so cute like the personal touches are just amazing so it says just for you alice and i love this like if you want to give a super cute gift to someone this is the brand for it like travel bags accessories like all sorts of bits and bobs can be found on the website so i'll link everything below but i'll also just let you know that 
um, yeah, there's lots on there, lots of travel bits and um, Hindu stuff, bridal stuff. It's just amazing. It's like the perfect one-stop shop for gifting. So this is what's come, two massive bags with Katie Loxton goodies inside. I can't wait to show you. Hey guys, so first up we have the Oxford Holdall. You guys know how much I use my olive green one, or like khaki green one. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. This bag holds everything. It's perfect for hand luggage only trips. It's perfect for weekends away, shoot days if you're a blogger or a creator, if you're a photographer, if you're just a corporate girly who has to carry a lot of stuff, like a laptop and all sorts of bits and bobs. This is the bag for you. Like it's honestly amazing. I absolutely love it. It's my go-to. I love as well how you can kind of transform the shape. So right now it's got like the um, little clips here up but when you kind of bring it down it's a great way to kind of reduce the size of it so if you are getting on a stricter airline then it kind of looks like a smaller bag which is great but it doesn't actually compromise on space so this is honestly one of my favorites and i don't know what i'd do without it i really love this new like spring kind of like pastel-y blue color i think it's going to look really nice as well with my sage green one so when i'm kind of overpacking and going for like double I can do that and I just love the personalization there's something really special about that as well um I just love it so got that in that size and color and then I got this new bag which I'm just loving um it's kind of like bending down right now because of the way it was packaged but this is a really lovely bag I've been umming and ahhing for ages I really just need like a classic white sort of neutral bag that I can take to dinner but will also hold enough stuff like I just love that it's got the zip inside there um but that is going to be perfect for dinners when I just want to kind of run out the door but have space for everything I also love I feel like I might be able to get away with wearing it like a clutch as well so that's super cute really really love that I've also got another bag to show you um as well which I think you're going to love and this is the last bag this is a slightly kind of in the middle bag like I feel like you could definitely do like a light overnight stay with this bag or use it as a workday bag as well so like your corporate girly situation I just absolutely love the finish and the vibe it's in this beautiful taupe color which I wanted to have and I can't wait to style this I feel like it's going to be so nice with the long strap as well absolutely perfect for um any situation really I feel like it's just a lovely lovely size so I've got really nice range here of all the bits um which I can't wait to kind of style up and use obviously travel with my hold all this bag is going to be having so much use they all are in their own way which is really really lovely um but I just wanted to kind of show you what I had in my delivery and yeah just feel super grateful I will link everything below as always guys so you can check it out but yeah these are the pieces. Okay guys, it's lunchtime. I've got myself part two of the smoothie, a not a green tea, a peppermint tea, and I've cooked up this amazing edamame stir fry, which is delicious. And then I basically just cooked off the last of my tofu, which it's a little tofu that I love. It's marinated already, so it basically just has like all the flavor ready to go. And then added a little bit of sweet chili sauce, and that is me for lunch. Just thought I'd show you before it gets demolished. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, out of crystal. And exhale, drop down. One more time, inhale, lift up. And exhale, draw down. One hand down to the side and just reach that top hand over. Perfect, push your hips down. And this top hand just fall back behind you.
done, but I just wait. Okay, cool. Perfect. So we can start with the French. And um, what started it is, uh, it's basically like Santa Ana, you may be wondering what, what the name is from. Uh, so Santa Ana was actually a club in the Philippines that was very, a very like, uh, it was at the beginning, it was at the beginning of like the Art Deco movement. So it was in the 1920s in the Philippines in Mani. And so it was really a place where all the big star, all the people that really like loved dancing, uh, partying and all were like traveling, were coming to this club which was actually 3,000 meters square so it was actually really huge and it was really like one of the first buildings that were at Art Deco at that time in Mani so it was really something quite huge and everybody was coming here to dance, to have fun. So it was a bit like uh, the best time for rich people at that time. <laughs> like really like luxury, drinking and all. And it was really, really like 1920s were something really huge. So it was actually created by the Ben Ney, a guy who was an American soldier. To the Philippines, oh yeah, sorry. Forget to mention that. It's from the Philippines, Mani. <laughs> Just like they wanted, you know? Like, I see where this cocktail's going. <laughs> we know where cocktail making goes every single time. It goes everywhere. Yeah, it's the Oh wow! After chaos. So we get five of these. So have you been like someone that's Yeah, big part of the shape. Okay, perfect. Imagine. I don't know the name, even in French. So. The lips? The lips. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. Then you can add two <laughs> point five centiliters of sugar syrup. Okay. Okay, which one's that? Oh, sugar syrup is the one that doesn't look like lemon juice. <laughs> so the transparent one, yes. How much is that? Do you use, yeah, sorry. It needs to be that much. Yeah. 12? I don't think it's much sugar syrup. Oh, half an hour. So you're just going to put a bit uh, under, yeah, the top lining, exactly. Yeah. Okay. The top lining. So you're going to put the top line of the small, small side of the sugar. So yeah, this one, the sugar syrup. So it's going to do like 2.5 centiliters or 25 milliliters. Okay? Oh, and then you can add it. that to your very, very slutty. Oh, my oh, 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 I love it. I don't want to talk about them. Okay. Are you okay? Yes. A nice slutty cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Then yeah. you're gonna add exactly uh, the same amount of yeah. lemon juice. Yeah. Okay, so lemon juice is the other one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love lemon juice. Yeah. Yeah. The same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. me, right. first line. Don't put my finger. First line. First line of the small one. Yeah. Perfect. Gorgeous. Oh, that's I've got, I've got that one. Okay. Okay. Give some bitter to the lemon. They're gonna love it. <laughs> Come on, Georgia. Yeah, it's all right. You can put yeah, and around the last. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is okay. You can stop. So you can put. <laughs> sorry, I didn't take. I didn't tell you. You need to take the big one oh. until the last. Oh. The last uh, strain. The lines. Anyway, you so you me. need more than. No, it's okay. I think she got enough because you put all things. Yeah. And it's okay. We love your five then. So you, but you, you put around here. Okay. More food coming. Oh my god. Good. I'm gonna be like flying home. <laughs>
So we want five. What did she say? Five. Doesn't it smell like a garden center? Basically, one. The garden center. You know when you go to a garden center, you're like, garden center. Do you know what I mean? No. I need to make sure I know how to read the signs. Otherwise, it's like. Like a time lock. 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 Like I was all over the place, had meetings in the morning, which the meetings went on for quite a while. It went really well, which I'm happy about. Um, and then what did I do? I had coffee and then headed to an event. So it actually ended up being quite a back-to-back -back situation. And then I got back quite late because I, I think I took the nine o'clock train home, which doesn't sound long, but my train is an hour and 15 minutes. So by the time I get home, it was like, it was like half past 10, so I was like really, really knackered. Um, but yeah, today I'm heading into London. I have a meeting, a very exciting meeting with a travel PR. I feel like all the travel PRs are just doing the most and I'm so happy about it. So I'm heading into London for that and um, we're gonna have like a little lunch meeting, do some work. I'm gonna be one of those corporate galleys that just like, sits around in London, like London coffee shops and does work. Like I actually find myself more productive, which is so annoying because ugh, previously, I feel like I've said it so many times, I'm, I'm pretty like anti-city, like I'm, I'm a country girl, but there's something about walking around London. I think it's like the new faces that I see and the people. And yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm starting to re-romanticize it, which is really, really nice because there have been a few occasions where I've just been like, I, I can't do this, I can't do London, it's too much. But I've decided to re-romanticize and it's doing the most. I feel like it's adding to my productivity. It's making me feel a bit main character energy, even though like no one's looking at me and nobody cares, but it like really does help and it motivates me. So I feel like just having those days where I'm doing bits and bobs and then obviously like working in the day in a coffee shop and then in the evening going to events. So it, it feels very productive. Yesterday I was able to go to a Clementine PR event for the Santa Ana Gin, which was amazing. And then, yeah, today I have a very exciting on the kind of, today is like a travel day. I have a travel event later, which I am so excited for. I'm actually gonna have my colleague Becky with me and we're gonna have literally the best day or best evening together, I think and um, just enjoy the event. But super, super excited for my London day today. I feel like it's gonna be nice main character energy. Very like low key. It's not like tons of back-to-back -back meetings. It's not like a few weeks ago or like two weeks ago where it was like six meetings or something crazy. Um, this is literally one meeting, one event, but working in between. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. If I can pluck up the courage to film myself in a, you know, a Sloan Square coffee shop, I'll do it, but 
I mean, you guys know what it's like in Sloan Square, so we shall see. We shall see if I can block up the courage to do it um, solo. But um, yeah, going to head in to London now. I've got my Brita filter water, which I'm just going to fill up now. It's so nice. I'm obsessed with my Brita filter. Oh, whoa. Literally, this is what's crazy about this water bottle. It fills up so quickly, obviously, because it's tiny. Um, it's actually a really, oh my God. Hang on. It's a Emma Bridgewater. Um, what's the brand? Chilies, that's it. An Emma Bridgewater Chilies, which my mum and dad got me for Christmas. Obsessed. And it's like perfectly travel size. So I'm going to take that into London. I'm going to head in and then hopefully vlog. I was supposed to also catch up with another journalist friend, but she's not very well, bless her. So we're going to rearrange that, I think. Um, but... Yeah, fear not, we're gonna have a good day and um, I will take you along for the ride, for the weekly vlogs. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I hope I've actually got some edited because I, I literally have so many backlogged. I think I've got like three or four now, which is just ridiculous. So fingers crossed there's a backlog and you're watching them all and enjoying them all. Awesome, let's go. Would you like to be in the video, say hello. <laughs> Lovely PR meetings whilst we eat. <laughs> hey guys so i am working from home today and just literally chilling in my trackies which is just the best thing ever um but i've just had a delivery from boohoo and vespa 247 i've got some dresses that i literally cannot wait to style and um what i'll do i think i'll open this up and show you i also got some new pieces for boohoo that i need to um, shoot some denim looks so just bear with me I'll open everything up and then I'll show you what I've got. So I feel like it looks quite eclectic but I promise you this method to the madness um, just to kind of show you from the top I've got a mini kind of grey to black kind of stone washed denim skirt it's quite short and it's got um, like a frayed hem. I've got two midi skirt or maxi skirts sorry denim maxis one is this beautiful nude colour and the other is this blue and um, here are some basics. I've got two or three, actually. I've got three maxi dresses, which I thought would be so fun to wear um, with this, which is a denim jacket. Haven't had a denim jacket in a long time, so it'd be nice to style this and just see how this all works together. I've got a, like, traditional sort of bodysuit. It has got, like, a V-neck to it, so I thought maybe that could be good to kind of pair with the skirts. And then moving on over here... Guys, you're probably thinking, Alice, why the hell are you buying swimwear when it's literally been snowing outside um, this morning? But I wanted to get some oversized shirts. These are some oversized shirts to um, throw on over swimwear. So when I'm away on press trips or when I'm sort of traveling around, I'd love to have something that I can just throw on either to walk between my hotel room or my villa down to the pool or to the beach. So I thought these would be perfect and they, they're new in. So I thought, fab, I'll get those before they sort of sell out. So I'll make sure I link everything below. And then I also picked out, I was just really drawn to it. I don't know why. It was slightly different color on the website. Um, so you can probably see how vibrant it is, but it's a swimsuit set with a skirt as well and I thought that would be really fun for um, any upcoming travels that I might have and then I have opened up the Vespa 247 dresses which I will show you better sort of close-ups of these on Friday when I have um, my shoot day but I thought I'd pick out some new dresses just because they're really fun to style so I've got a traditional like black and white piece which is like off the shoulder, shoulder like bardo style this beautiful pink fun dress very cute thought that would be really nice for like events and things and then also this polka dot navy number which I thought would go quite well with this denim jacket so we'll see how everything is styled that is everything that I got in my order this morning I'm just going to be working at my computer today and um, I'm not going to show my face because I literally feel not run down, but just like exhausted from being in London. I've got London days on Thursday and Friday, so I'm just in like full on slouchy lounge mode. But um, yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the vlog because I feel like you guys will be able to see these pieces kind of in action as well. Now we see the paycheck on whiskey and long necks. Ever since you left trying to figure this out. Jack, I've been drinking, it's been wasted on thinking. Now I got a new reason for throwing them down. I don't look, pour and talk. It's who was happily ever after long. We ain't gonna waste one more night. Listen, won't bring you back. No, I ain't gonna cry. Another tear in his glass. You can't waste any time finding somebody new.
place too long The dirt road sing me a siren song I gotta find a field I need to spin my wheels And I got a hanker in for four wide tires And I can't help it It's the way I'm wired for you get too close Boy, you need to know I got a heart like a truck It's been drugged through the mud Runs on dreams in gasoline And I know highway holds a key It's got a left foot down when it's leaving Lord knows it's taking a hell of a beating A little bit of love is all that it's needed But it's good as it is tough I've got a heart like a truck There ain't no breaking when I throw it in the drive Don't always keep it in between the lines If you're ready for a ride, pedal down, stay to mind Boy, I tell you what, you better buckle on I got a heart like a truck It's been a drug through the mud Runs on dreams and got Gotta say the words. I can hear them looking in your eyes. You can live behind the walls you built, but never look for love again. Or you can just let me in. some of the busier artists finally had time to sit down and listen to some new music and the Stapletons reached out and said they enjoyed my um, my songs and I asked my manager I said can I just ask them can I just ask them because when I wrote this song I wrote a harmony line with Chris Stapleton in mind and then made one of my friends drink aggressively and scream for a bit to get that raspiness to try to pretend to be Chris Stapleton Chris Stapleton but um, anyways um, I asked and he was a big enough gentleman to say yes. So, uh, this is called Small Town Hippie. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Hand me down, dream, get me high in the rafters. Homecoming queen couldn't be an outsider, so there I'd sit with a cigarette lit in a leather jacket. I found a boy who was a stranger to In one horse town at a table for two We had matching scars, matching tattoos Both dying to fit in Ain't that some shit Just a small town And there's scholarship 
was a ship they sailed, but I chose you and daddy gave me hell. I made myself into someone else, just to love you. Damn, I loved you. Took all my plans and I put them in a box. Phantom pains for the wings I'd lost had me circling rings and cataloging for seven years. He never got me up. That's the way that you look, the way that you talk. Whatever it is, it's about being unapologetically yourself, and I feel like I'm learning how to do that a little bit more every single day, and that's kind of what this song's about right here. This one's called Hillbilly Hippie. Woo! Hey guys, happy Friday. I'll be honest, today has been mildly chaotic, but you just have to roll with the punches. I had a shoot day this morning and I had every intention of um, filming some clips with a new client of mine in the studio but it was just so chocker and so back-to-back -back busy that I was unable to get any clips so um, I think I could just include I think there's maybe one BTS video that I could include um, and I will do so I'll pop it um, either on screen as like b-roll right now or um whack it in after the fact but i'm on northcott road right now well actually technically this is honeywell road um because i am i have an appointment at 3 30 it's currently 20 past one now the reason i'm sat in the car like this is because again change of plans i was supposed to basically park up and just have my Botox topped up which I'm so excited for guys you know I literally love my Botox and I love getting it done at Skin Emporium on Northcott Road and yeah it's just like my favorite treatment it's been so long I think it's been like maybe over six months like I've got full movement like full range of movement in my forehead so the plan of attack really was to do a shoot day shoot a client and then with the remaining time in between i was going to work from the studio and also shoot some content like i literally packed like a full on shoot day bag for um content so ended up not being able to do that just because of the studio just being super busy so i've now got this time to kill and the girls have said that i could pop in so i'll probably pop in and see them but the reason why i haven't got out of my car and this is the next dilemma is because i'm on the permit side of the road now I don't want to put anything into the atmosphere because I've been listening to The Secret, I've been listening to The Power again, and I don't want to put um, like put energy and fuel any negativity, but I will just say two times the back of my wheel was like more the back of my wheel, like half of my car was in a box. And every time, I, not every time I come to London, that I don't want to affirm that because that's not true either, but I have had a few occasions where my wheel or part of my car has been in a box and I've got a ticket. Now I'm not putting it out there. I am gonna say it's a Friday feeling and everyone's feeling really generous and there's gonna be no tickets for anyone today. Um, but that's just the reality. Like, it, you know, it's not like it's points on the license and it's really hard. It is really hard to know whether your car is gonna fit, um, especially when like cars up are behind you and kind of pushing you along and you're just like oh my goodness anyway i'm not fueling that i'm not putting any energy into that now um but what i'm doing right now and the reason why i'm just chilling in my car is because i'm waiting for a space to open up there's a space over the road like there you can probably see it but it's i don't think it's big enough for my car like if i could literally lift my car and like horizontally slide it in of course it's gonna fit but I've got to allow this big Volvo a chance to get out and also the car in front which is a Tesla and I'm not going to hit a Tesla either. So we're just going to chill here for a little bit 
and we're just going to yeah i did my five gratitudes for today which feels good and um yeah i feel like you can't you can't dwell in these situations you really can't and today's been good and i'm really looking forward to my botox like hell i need it after um the, the drive around london um but yeah i'm really proud of the shots that i've taken i want to get that work done also just generally work has been really chaotic and you know you know me i'm doing like lots of little different bits so ooh, that car is literally my dream car and its number plate was a b at the beginning I love an Aston Martin, guys. That is literally end goal. Like me and a boyfriend, or like me and my husband, not boyfriend. Me and my boyfriend, me and my husband. That is the vibe. Like a his and hers, do you know what I mean? I feel like it's such a vibe. Um, see, that was a good, that was a good energetic exchange. I sound like a nutter, but um, yeah, I'm just chilling here. You know when you're just like, you've driven somewhere for ages and you're just like, Oh, I could literally fall asleep. I ended up having a quick snack. I ate a packet of crisps and a penguin bar. And I am feeling a lot more myself. I feel like I could really do with a coffee or a tea though. And the girls are like, come in, come in for a tea. And I'm just like, I need to wait until a spot opens up. So I'm just, yeah, going to manifest, manifest the spot. I'm really tired guys like I'm really it's been a long week like actually when I deep it I have been in London four days out of five days this week and when I've been in London it's not like nine to five and like go home it's been like 9 a.m. or like leaving at 8 a.m. or even earlier and getting home at like 11 or like close to midnight because it's been like evening events so instead of like loitering like inst instead of going home I loiter and I loiter with my laptop and oh the other day like I worked in Starbucks and it was really nice I worked on Starbucks on Kings Road and I was fairly productive but it got to this like point it got to like half past four and I was like I really want to go home now but then I was like right now I've got an event now so I can't um but once I got to the event, I was fine. I think it was just like, I felt like how you feel at the end of a work day, but I was like miles from home and it was just like, oh my God. I can't believe I ever did that. I really don't know how I did it. I don't know how I used to work five days a week in an office. And I used to get the 608, 608? The 608 train. I think it was like the 608. The 608 guys, that's ridiculous. Like sold my soul to that job. The six, the 608. And it would get me into London by the time I got on the tube and all that rubbish. It was like half past eight. And I'd get at my desk. No one would be in because everyone would get in for like nine, half nine. And I would just be like, what am I doing? And then I'd finish at six and it would just be so long. It'd be so long. And I just, yeah, I just, I realised that I think that's why I love doing what I'm doing now. And just being like my own, my own person. There's two people walking up the road and I'm manifesting that they've got a car. Ideally, I'd quite like a car that's like in front of me so I can just like swing in. That would be the ideal situation. But I'm not going to leave my car here because I don't want to risk it. Because it's quite like a, it's not a popular road, but Northcott Road is popular. And like it has a lot of people walking down it. So I imagine there would be a warden of some sort, of some description. Yeah, I'm just going to chill here until further notice. What are you going to do? Um, also as well, before I leave, before I say goodbye and show you me get my Botox done, I'm in the most unreal leather look jacket from Boohoo. And it honestly, it's my personality. I've been waiting. I've been trying to find the perfect leather jacket moment. And this jacket is just amazing. And if it's still available, I will link it below. It's really comfy. It's obviously not leather, but it's it's a nice like kind of leather look. It's not it's not cheap looking. Do you know what I mean? It's really comfy. It's slightly like oversized, like boyfriend fit. So um, yeah, I feel like it's a nice vibe. But I'm gonna stop talking now because I've nearly been talking for ten minutes, and you know what I'm like. Once I start, I can't stop. Um, but yeah, once I'm in Skin Emporium, let's show the before and after. 
of the little before so this is the situation that we've got right now full range of movement and for ages guys people would say you don't need botox you don't need botox look even just like me doing that little like do you know what i mean like i've got so much movement up there we're gonna reconvene we're gonna reconvene like next week because the botox will be probably doing its thing next week but like when you see all of that like i get this like m-shaped muscle movement it's just wild so yeah oh oh my god there's a car pulling in um he's not parking he's pausing i think oh it's busy um ah oh, he's reversing okay okay i'm filming this because guys you see what i mean like he is he is reversing okay he's going he's leaving um remember what i was saying oh yeah full range of movement it's wild but it makes such a difference and i can't wait i'm excited i'm ready to be expressionless no it doesn't make you expressionless it just controls everything it just gives you chef's kiss the vibes Over there. 